Hello best friend and a welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. Grab a snack and a drink. Hit that subscribe button. I'd be very grateful. And remember, I am Kenneth. Listen, Barbie has taken over my home. This is my husband's. I mean, he is just obsessed with Ken. I think we're gonna be the thick versions of Barbie and Ken for Halloween. And I'm very freaking excited. I'm here, so here for it. Um, he's probably gonna be Ken, girl. I wanna be Barbie, honey. I wanna have these blonde, glow, you know, wig on and girl, just go rollerblading, bitch. Although, I don't know about the rollerblading outfit, girl, because not, I, I don't mind the tightness, girl, but the rollerblading, can you imagine rollerblading after a couple tequilas, bitch? Mm -mm. Anyways, you guys, I want to say thank you so much first for two things. The first one for being so sweet yesterday. I posted some videos. I'm still under the weather, but I'm feeling a little bit better. Thank God. Um, you guys were so sweet about my videos yesterday. And also, I posted a video that I did with my mom. It is a very, very important, maybe the most important video I've ever done. So make sure to go check that out. I would be so grateful. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description. Um, please check it out. It's it's such a beautiful healing video and i think you'll really enjoy it um but let's get into this tea you guys because we gotta talk with all the divorce talk with britney spears and sam asgari there's been a lot of talk about the book what what will it affect the book what's going to happen with the book will britney go and re-edit a couple things is it mainly about sam well now we have our answers you guys this is not like a concern that i really even thought about to be very honest i never thought it would affect the book i did maybe think that she would go and re-edit a couple things like you know but maybe this is a good part one you know maybe we're gonna have like a series of books you know what i mean so anyways um page six is reporting <sighs> that Britney Spears, of course, is still planning on uh, releasing her autobiography, The Woman and Me, on October 24th. And there have not been any emergency meetings or issues holding up publication. Uh, the book would not have any changes made to it before hitting bookshelves. Since the Princess of Pop uh, reportedly gave her final sign-off on it two weeks ago, she does not have the power to include her breakup after the fact. So, because she already signed off on the book, she cannot go back and re-edit anything. Notably, an insider says that um, he, of course, Sam Asghari, is mentioned uh, in the memoir. Um, it will not be focusing on their marriage. It is more focusing on her early life, her conservatorship, after the conservatorship, and career. So it's not going to um, affect the book at all. Now, one thing I do have to say is that you know britney's life is so big right like her experiences are so big i feel like she definitely could have a part one part two part three part four um and i think that britney sharing this is just going to feel more motivated to continue to share it britney spears is a very mysterious being um, you have to understand, I've I've seen a lot of comments where people, you know, anytime Britney posts, it's, it's like this huge, you know, uh, topic. It's a huge conversation piece. It's a huge, you know, what is happening, you know, details, analyzing everything, blah, blah, blah. Britney adds a lot of mystery in everything she does. And I think that it's a wonderful thing because people shouldn't know everything about you, right? I feel like you should have some things for you. You shouldn't have to share everything. And Brittany's given so much of her life to us that, you know, she should have some things for herself. Although, um, having said that, you guys, I do think that it's important. Hang on, I'm just putting my phone there. I do think, though, it's important for Brittany to be able to expose everything in the conservatorship, to be able to expose everything in, you know, her family, and also now her marriage and divorce. I think that what we're going to see with Britney coming up soon is that we're going to see Britney, um, well, you know, because the rumors are that she has an album that she wants to work on, that she's really focusing on a huge comeback, and she's negotiating a deal with Sony for a comeback album. So, you know, all that rumors are great and all, but I think we're going to start seeing a new Britney the real Britney. You know, you have to understand, when she first started coming out, she had to be, she was heavily, um, I would say heavily guided by her record company. 
and the image that they put on her. And then I think that the breakdown, we just saw Britney Spears not be the perfect role model and the perfect, even though she hated that, the perfect, you know, product that her record company created. And you guys, I mean, Britney Spears, you know, she was never this perfect being because nobody is perfect. But she be, she came very, very close, you know. She was always very well done up. She always had the perfect responses. She always had the perfect performances. Everything was perfect, 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 per perfect. And then once that mold, that product that was created started breaking, that's when people started being worried. Oh my God, you know, this, what's going on? What's going on? Maybe this is the real Britney. Maybe the real Britney is messy. Maybe the real Britney does not give a shit about, you know, certain things. And I think that's great. I think that her book is gonna open the floodgates of finally getting to know the real Britney. And I think that she has many more books in her life. Um, I think that the Britney that we all fell in love with is heavily the product that was made by the record company. But I think that if you are a real fan, you will look beyond the perfect blonde hair, the perfect appearance, the perfect performances, and you're gonna see the human inside of the, that product. And that human inside had to hide for so long because of the record company, because of the conservatorship, and now she started to you know, be herself. And I think the book is a really good first step into the world getting to know the real Britney Spears. You know what I mean? So I'm very here for the book. I, I think it's also important that Britney shares about, you know, of course, if she wants to, about the marriage and divorce, because there has been so much controversy and so much speculation about, you know, her marriage and everything that had to do with Sam Asghari and his, you know, freaking action star wannabe ass, which I just, you know, here's the thing, I can't stand any of Britney's exes. I mean, Kevin Jobless, Federline, then you have Jason fucking, you know, Restraining Order Alexander, and now you have Sam Asghari, you know, the biggest extra in Hollywood who will go to opening of an envelope. Yes, everything I said was not nice, but you know what? These men have not been nice to Britney, and it is what it is, bitch. My my priority stands with Britney, and if I have to be a shady little thick bitch, then I fucking will. I don't give a damn. Um, no, but for real, I hope Britney uses this. Oh, and Justin fucking Timberlake, who, ugh, so fucking gross, especially what he did to Janet Jackson. Girl, no, I cannot stand Justin Timberlake. Um, although, low-key excited for Instinct to be reunited for the uh, Trolls movie, and hopefully they do do some kind of comeback, because I do love me a good Instinct song here and there but i just cannot with justin i just cannot um anyways i'm excited for the book i think it's time for Brittany to finally tell her story and her truth and and just kind of like you know be be britney spears be the real britney jean spears that maybe the world is a little bit afraid to um admit that that is the real britney and you know baby one more time slave for you and you know me against the music and all of these amazing lucky and and you know from the bottom of my broken heart and born to make you happy and blah 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 all the songs dear diary uh, today i saw a boy no one i can't sing because i'm sick but even if i wasn't sick i couldn't sing either but Girl, how, when was the last time you heard Dear Diary? It's the last song in the Oops, I Did It Again album. Go listen to it. Um, the last song, she does like a little funny intro with Fee. And she's like, wait, how does it how does it go with Fee? She goes, um, ah, hang on, hang on. She says, um, girl, oh, wait. She goes, I can't believe he said that. You don't think I'm like that, do you? Well, you are. What? Don't tell me you agree with him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, then Langston is fine. Wait, no, 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 that's another one. Hang on. Ugh, no, wait. Um, what is the, what she says? You know what I'm talking about. You guys, hang on. She says she does a funny like. It's like a, it's like an inter, not an interlude, but she goes. Did you kiss? Oh no, I forgot it. Hang on, I, I'll remember it. But anyways, I'm excited for Britney to come back to come out with the truth. I think it's important, I think it's fabulous, and I cannot wait until she exposes all these motherfuckers who honestly do not deserve any grace from Britney Spears because you know what, bitch? They've done enough harm and Britney has stood still, been quiet, been forced to be quiet, not been able to speak her mind, and now, honey, she has a $15 million book deal that says otherwise. Okay, here, let me see if I can find that 
Dear Diary intro. You went back to his house? Did you guys kiss? I'm not telling you that. Oh my god, you did. Look at that guy. He's so cute. And he's looking over here. Be quiet. No, be cool. Go talk to him. No. He's too nervous. What would I say? God, I miss and love her so much. I do miss, you know, I miss Britney being on stage. I miss, I miss her sharing her talents with the world. I miss that, but you know, that's like my selfish side, you know? You know what I mean? But of course, I just, I just want her to be happy and I want her to be just fulfilled with her life. But of course I miss her being on stage and creating and, 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 you know what really pisses me off? And I'll tell you before I let you go because this video is already really long. I hate that they ruined her dream. I hate that they ruined her passion. I hate that they ruined her gift. That's what I hate. And I hope Brittany gets that power back from them. So anyways, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to check out the video I made with my mom. The link is in the description. I think you guys will really love it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.